Want to know how you can ethically leverage voice AI and inbound and outbound voice caller to be able to make your business more revenue, to book more calls onto your calendar, no matter what type of outreach you're doing? We just did a training that I went over step by step at least three different ways that you could do it, including what I call the middleman method that allows you to ethically do fairly cold outreach and book a lot of calls without having to hire a sales team, all leveraging simple voice AI. And I'll show you how to implement that, how to get that all in this training. So without further ado, if that's something that you want, if that's something you've been waiting for, let's dive in and get shit done. All right, what is going on everybody? Today we are going to be talking about something very cool. We've been talking a lot in the last little bit about how AI can help your customers the voice AI tool that we've recently rolled out, the texting AI tools that we've been talking a lot about, the customer journey, all that stuff. We've talked a lot about how we can leverage that to make more money by having a product that is indistinguishable from magic for our actual customers, by creating an offer, by getting out there and knowing how to present it, by selling it to them. But one thing that we haven't talked a lot about is how you guys as agency owners, as online business owners can actually leverage this tool specifically to make money for yourself. So that sounds like something you guys might want to do is leverage these AI tools now that you're going to have them to make money for yourself, to book your own sales calls. So today, what we're talking about is what I just said. We're going to talk about how to leverage these AI tools to actually make yourself money. But before we can actually do that, we do need to repeat a little bit about what we've talked about the last couple of weeks, which is in order to start it, we need an offer. All right. And so our offer right, is going to be based around this. It's going to be based around how we can save them and make them money on their own customer journey, leveraging AI. And what I want you guys to do too, is to start to think about how these different pieces of a customer journey also work in your own business. This is designed for the partnership program and for people who are leveraging these AI things to sell this to small businesses, to be able to leverage that AI, to be able to make that happen. But I want you to think about how does it actually fit into your own business? And so we have things like this. AI is changing the way people do business. Implemented the right way. It can be a 24-7 sales and support team you never have to train or pay commission to ever again. It, our clients are implementing these customized SMS and voice AI solutions to make sure they never miss a call, never lose another deal, and never leave a customer waiting ever again. The result is record revenue months and millions in brand new sales. This deck is going to show you how AI systems can upgrade your customer journey every step of the way. So where we fit in, right? Customers find out about you and calls you. These are the different steps of a customer journey. Find out about you and call you. Book sales calls with you. Send quotes and follow up with et cetera, et cetera, right? And so what we're trying to do here, right, is build an offer that solves one of these problems. Remember what we're doing with scary offers. We're building an offer that does two things, right? We want to express to them that we're going to help you accomplish the one thing you want the most. We're going to help you do that while avoiding the one thing you want to do the least. That's the core concept of the scary offer. The rest of the elements are all nice. It's window dressing. It's making it better and stronger and more powerful. But the core concept is always, I'm going to help you solve the biggest problem you have. So I'm going to help you get to the one thing you want the most. And I'm going to help you avoid doing the shit you want to do the least. So now step one, most businesses don't have the staff to man the phones 24 seven. Because of this, they consistently miss inbound calls and they miss revenue opportunities because of that. Problems here, 50% of small businesses are losing between ten dollars and $50,000 every single month simply because they can't answer inbound calls 24-7 and don't have well-trained sales staff. How we help, our AI sales team can answer the phones, ask the right questions, qualify your prospects, and book the right ones on the calendar for you. And the best part, they work 24-7. Customer book sales calls with you. Once a potential client books with you, the real work starts. We need to make 100% sure they actually show up so your time isn't wasted. Problem. Calls booked online have notoriously bad show rates. How we help. Our AI stays on top of them and continues the conversation for you so you don't have this issue. They implement confirmation calls. Speak with potential clients for you to reschedule if needed. Here's the first step for sure that you guys can be implementing for your business to make money. But of course, you have to have the calls on the calendar. So we'll get to that in a second. But this one right here, definitely something you all should be talking. I can't count how many times in the GSD show rate starts to become an issue. And I tell people all the time that sending automated text reminders is one thing, actually beginning the conversation and generating familiarity, having confirmation calls the morning of. These types of things is what we've implemented with our setter team, with our people, and has dramatically increased show rate, dramatically increased the results that they're seeing. 
Customers get sent a quote and follow up with them. A lot of small businesses drop the ball here and it's not your fault. 80% of sales come from the follow-up. And if you're sending a quote and never following up, you're leaving the money on the table. Money is in the follow-up. Most businesses don't have the manpower or sales team to properly follow up with all of their potential deals. And it causes them to lose out on a lot of potential revenue. How we help. Our AI sales team can be set up to follow up with customers as frequently as you want. We look at your average deal time and we make sure you have a 24 seven sales team that follows up with every single quote until they are ready to buy. Never lose a customer to another company ever again, simply because they were the ones that stayed in touch with them. Service your customers is the next part, right? Are you providing customers with the best possible support? Most companies just can't. And as they say, it's way more expensive to find a new client than it is to keep one you already have. Problem, you can't keep up with client requests. You lose clients every now and then due to poor communication. Our AI voice and SMS systems can be your 24 seven support team, available to your customers when you need it, no matter what. This typically results in significantly lower churn rates and therefore higher revenue across all businesses. You nurture and reactivate previous customers. Look, it's 10 times easier to sell something to somebody who has already bought something from you in the past. And yet most businesses constantly chase new business instead of tapping into this gold mine. Problems. You don't nurture your customers enough to keep you front of mind when it comes time to make a new purchase. How we help. Our AI sales team can call, text your past customers on a predetermined schedule so that you can keep up with them, stay front of mind, and also make new offers to them consistently. And then on this deck specifically, you have them demo it. So now guys, seeing all of these steps of a customer journey, right? Two things I want to have as an outcome right now before we move into the next phase. One, I want you guys to think of a scary offer that you can build around this to go out and engage people. Two, I want you guys to tell me right now inside the chat, a way that you specifically think on that customer journey already that you could use to make more money, to shore up your sales process. How can you leverage this system, AI voice or AI text or both, based on all the problem solutions I just put in front of you to make yourself more money? <laughs> okay, it, cool. I'm so excited because I've been sharing this whenever I go to networking meeting. I'm always saying, hey, you guys check this out. Hey, you guys check this out on um, the voice and the chat. And uh, a week ago, Wednesday, like a week ago yesterday, I sat down next, next to this gal. She is a photographer, acquaintance of mine. I said, hey, Beth, check this out. She goes, oh my gosh, I need this. I go, I know. That's what I'm showing you. And so she's like, I got to show Charlie. I'm like, all right, show Charlie. A boyfriend, fiance, husband, I don't know, some dude. Mm-hmm. So I'm like, all right. So I followed up with her a few times. I'm like, hey, Beth, I know you need this. What's going on? Tell me what, tell me what you're thinking. So I go to the networking meeting yesterday. I walk in, I see her. She goes, it's Jen. And she's talking to somebody else. She just stops talking to them and runs over to me. I need this. I said, I know you do. You totally need this. And she's always had really low overhead. She hasn't had, um, you know, she hasn't brought anybody on the team, but she's, she's missing. She's not following up. She's mm-hmm. missing out on the follow-up, which was why I wanted to start a marketing, a digital marketing agency in the first place. But I didn't even know that's what it was that I was doing. I just knew what I needed help with when I was an event planner and I wanted to provide it. So I'm just, so I tell her, girl, you need this. You're leaving money on the table. People are missing out on being able to work with you. We've got to change that. She's like, yes. I, I, so I told her, this is what it's going to cost you is what we're going to do. She's okay, I'm going to talk to Charlie. I'm like, oh, you and Charlie, we're going to have to three-way this. So <laughs> I'm following up with her because I know she, she wa- she's so excited. She's like sitting by me at every networking event now. So I mean, it's that- amazing stuff. That, to me, that's one of the biggest ways to do this, right, is is what I just heard you say, because what, what, what have I said a lot over the last few weeks about how to make money with this, right? It's showing people the magic. So ways to leverage this for yourself. Let's just get into this a little bit, because I love what you just did. A, it's show them the magic, right? That's what you just did. But how does yep. the actual system help with that? It's through its own follow-up. Because if you design a system, say you have a caller where you're going around like Jen and you're showing the demo. So let's make this like a little customer journey just for what Jen just did, because it's based on what I'm telling you guys to do, right? So it's find prospects and instead, I'd say show, not sell. Let's call it that first, okay? The first thing we're doing is we're not even trying to pitch you. I'm just showing you, like, have you ever seen anything as cool as this? Have you ever seen anything that could do the shit this can do? How much money and time and training and and all this shit have you done wasted going through trying to find these receptionists, these setters, these salespeople, 
right? I guarantee you it's a lot of money. If they actually sit down and think about it, it's a lot of time. It's a lot of money. And they've been doing it for years. And so, okay, we find prospects and we show, not tell, just like what Jen just did. Now you have two options. One, probably what's going to happen is they're going to be woohoo happy right away. And then they might fall off because just like I showed you on this customer journey doc, just like all these other people and their businesses, you get busy and don't necessarily stay on the follow-up. And normally the, what happens guys is the sale happens on, I don't know, Ahmad, Ahmad's here. He does a lot of setting for us and some sales. You guys have probably talked to him before. How many touch points on average, Ahmad, do you think it takes to sell stuff? Unless it's right oh, after a webinar, it doesn't count because that's when they're all too happy. But on in general, how many touch points do you think it's taking? Oh, if you want to consider everything, um, maybe five to seven. I'm considering also as watching a video as a touch point or joining the group and consuming content. Exactly. And if you don't have an Ahmad, and even if you think you do, trust me, you don't have an Ahmad. Nobody works as hard as this guy. I have to, I have to tell him to go to sleep to stop following up with people. So if you don't have a beast like that, following up with people every single day, doing the shit you need to do, you should be leveraging this AI system to do it for you. Right. So if you're showing them and not telling them what's an even cooler thing, you get to show them again. Because already they've been blown away by the magic. Now what happened? It calls them a couple of days later to check in. What's that? It's more magic they get to see. It's texting them and having a conversation, right? And so now the voice AI does a check-in call to book a sales call, right? Shows them more magic. Then the SMS AI confirms the call or reschedules. Then the voice AI does confirmation call morning up and the whole way through this it's like that customer journey you're making sure the person a stays hungry and builds familiarity i cannot tell you how many times and Ahmad will back up on this too where it's we switch this all automation all automated reminders show goes down i tell them to do manual calls manual stuff the night before and if we stay on that kind of stuff it significantly increases the show rate but now instead of you having to do all that stuff this stuff can do it for you, right? And so this is where we start to get here now. And I love that, Jen. Thank you. Appreciate that. That's that, I love that concept because that's really where it comes into play. Continue to show them the magic. Push that stuff through. But now you might want to get even more people front end. This is still you've got people to show, right? How do I get these people to show them in the first place? How do I link this up to my cold outreach? Because the one thing we don't want to do, I, I, you could do it, but I, we're not recommending it. I don't want you to do it. Is you're not going to be doing cold calling with this. And you're not going to be doing cold outreach for this. We're not going and getting a list and doing all that shit because you're going to get shut down. It's just not, it's not okay. Could you do it? Yes, probably. But that's not a method I'm going to be covering today because it's not recommended because it's just going to cause you a big pile of bullshit headaches. Okay. But that doesn't mean we can't quote unquote do it. We just have to create something in the middle. We have to create an opt-in mechanism. We have to create a yes, please do this. One thing we used to talk a lot about in the perfect stranger method was what we called permission-based DMs. Anybody here long enough with me that you've heard me talk about this? I know some of you guys have been around here a while. Permission-based outbound. Basically permission-based cold calling, permission-based cold messaging. And basically what it was before, or what it is in the perfect stranger method is you're doing it where it's step one is post awesome content but it's going to be conversion content. So something like a two-step, right? Then they comment, step two on the two-step post is they comment saying, yes, I want the thing, right? And then step three is now you transition to DM, transition to the more intimate setting of the DM. This is kind of what we want to do here. We have to figure out step one and then the opt-in and then the transition to voice AI or texting AI. Very simple in theory. How does that always start? It starts with a scary offer. Right. And so since we're talking about AI sales teams, we can create a version one where it's AI sales team offer for a scary offer. Right. And what is the coolest thing about say AI sales teams for me, for pain points, for scary offer, right? Because we're trying to remember what are the, the elements of this and starts with pain points, right? So pain points for this is, you know, wasting money on hiring, firing salespeople, training them, right? Also hiring, firing, you know, receptionists, these kind of things, trying to use receptionists as salespeople, you know, missing a lot of calls. This is either because office hours or because not enough staff or because on the job, right? And these are different pain points for different things, right? Office hours being like chiro clinics on the job, being contractors and home service people, not enough staff, probably everybody all, all the time, right? These types of things create these issues. And we can solve a lot of those pain points with this. So you can make this carry offer now. I help whatever business type, X niche, 
business double reduce their overhead by a minimum of a hundred thousand dollars and double their and we can put uh y results y niche specific results using customer language in let's say 90 days so how, how does this all work right because a lot of you guys want to know what the hell does that mean? Well, okay, let's say a salesperson. We've done some research lately to see what normal businesses in the States pay for salespeople. It's usually coming out to 60K base plus commission is what you see. And it can go for corporations and small businesses and all that kind of stuff. It goes up and up and up. Receptionists can start at like, and this is all local states-based stuff is going to be you know a minimum of 50K. Plus, you're replacing at least one of those, one of each of those with this. So that's how you get to this number. That's before commission. And that's also saying you're doing one of each, which it isn't. It's like 10 of those, right? So that's how you get to your 100K. And doubling the result is by saying, okay, cool. Well, now we have a sales team that you didn't have before. You have database reactivation plus AI that you didn't have before. You have missed call text back. Oh, wait, we don't need to text back because you never miss a call again because you have a 24-7 reception. You have an easy way to show them how that roadmap is going to work in 90 days. Now, why am I listing all of this stuff out for you? Because now the second thing, we'll call this one, way one, or we'll just say one. Okay. Now I'm going to come down here. We're going to go, okay, number two. Way one was what Jen's doing, and I love it. Show them the magic, get them interested, get the thing to follow up. Way number two is how, we'll call this one, the middleman. Okay. So the middleman in this situation, and let's put this on another page. But now the middleman is going to be, you know what, I like to have this be interactive. So let's stop here for a second. What do you guys think I mean by the implementing a middleman? And come on camera, guys, if you're here, come on camera. The whole point of this is to be interactive. But what do you guys think specifically I'm talking about after doing all that with the middleman? But let me know what you guys think I mean by the middleman. And I will sit here and I will awkwardly stare at you until somebody answers me. This is supposed to be the thing. Referral JV. Nope. Think of it as well. Remember what I'm saying. We're not, we can't do cold outreach. Without having some sort of a thing. Oh, go ahead, Derek. Yeah. I was going to actually kind of repeat the question so I can just kind of fully hear what you said as far as the middleman. 100%. So method two is just the middleman. What I did so far was I built out the scary offer. I built out all the pain points and all of the different training points. This would be here. And in reference before this, right, I mentioned we can't do cold calling. So because we can't do cold calling, we need some sort of middleman. So now I want to know what you guys think that will be. The middleman is going to be the AI voice. Could be. Very good. Does the follow-ups. So what we're talking about here, guys, for the middleman is that we need something in the middle. And what I mean by middle is we need something between the cold prospect. We can't do this, right? Cold prospecting. Can't do it. So let's just go ahead and say, can't do it. But what we can do, so we'll put a big old X here. Okay. But what we can do is we say, here's a cold prospect, you know, cold prospect who opts in to something, then we can do it. Now we can do, we'll call it warm prospecting. This is illegal. This is totally fine. So what we need is this, the middleman. We need to put something in between it being dead cold and our actual being able to show them the magic and do the calling and all that kind of stuff. Perfect. So what I would do personally and why I flesh this out so much up here is I would create some sort of VSL. So my middleman, if I had a preferred way of doing it, would be VSL, okay, or PDF or training of some sort. Okay, so in this situation, I would take, okay, we made a scary offer. I'm going to say my niche, let's say I'm doing this for contractors, right? So now let's say I'm going to do it for contractors, home services, people, this kind of stuff. And I'm going to take this and my VSL offer is going to be based on my scary offer. So I help contractors, contractors reduce their thing. And then I'm going to help them get double their high value inbound estimates in 90 days. And then I'm going to take this and now I'm going to make it a VSL offer. So... Then it's going to be free training. Learn exactly how you can, and then say this shit right here. Reduce, learn exactly how contractors are reducing their overhead by a minimum of $100,000 and doubling their high value inbound estimates in under 90 days. And then you could say spend 30 minutes, or if you're going to make a VSL, you could make it 20 minutes, 20 minutes with me and learn 
exactly how contractors are reducing their overhead, right? So boom, now you've got a little bit of a wordy headline. You can make it maybe a little shorter, but you've got an offer. You've got your middleman. So now you come up here and all these things I did, right? You're talking about, cool. You walk them through buying in the concept. How is it going to reduce this? You're going to do it by doing this. How are you going to double your overhead? You're going to do it by step one, sales team, DBR, missed call text back and add the math into each of those steps. How is it doing it in under 90 days? Really, you could do it in 30, but here's the timeline for it. And what's the offer? What's the mechanism? It's through my voice AI, which by the way, you're going to get a call from by the end of the day. And now every single one of your, the rest of what we teach you, right? The rest of what we teach you is inside the GSC is already this. Um, so now step one is obviously do all that. Step one, put together the middleman. Step two is now going to be do your daily tasks directed around this. So Facebook outreach, B, LinkedIn automation, C, cold email that you're scraping from the LinkedIn automation, all sending out this offer plus link to check it out. Step three, show them the magic. This is where you have the voice AI call and discuss. You can set these voice AI things up to talk to them and answer their questions. Okay. These are not just, Hey, here's the thing, blah, blah, blah. And it's over. You can set it up so that, Hey, you know, I saw that you watched the quick training or I saw that you opted into the training just to learn how contractors are using systems just like me. Like I would I literally set it up to say, hey, I'm a voice AI, just like the training you just you just opted into. Said They have me call out to you guys so that I can answer any questions you might have. Now that you've watched the training, you kind of saw how people are leveraging systems just like me to make money and reduce your overhead. I thought I'd reach out and just see if you had any questions left over on it. Right? Can you see how powerful that is? You're now getting them to talk to the robot. You're getting them to open that loop. You're getting them to pique that curiosity. You're literally having the robot that they just wanted to talk, they just learned about, call them and discuss, answer their questions questions and get the call, the next call booked. It's all about that. It's all about saying, Hey, yeah, I, was, I, I saw it. I'm really wondering how does it do this or how much does it cost or how much does that happen? And it will answer though. It can do all of that by having it all preset. And then it can book the call at the end of it. And by implementing that middleman, part of it, using a scary offer in front of it and understanding what the customer journey is on here through it, right? We can really, really, really make that happen. Any questions on that, guys? That makes sense. I want to see, because that's really, to me, the middleman strategy. It's like, okay, we have all of these cold prospecting strategies we're talking about. Leveraging this in the, through this and having them consistently hit that is going to make you guys a lot of money. It's going to make things happen quickly for you. Only Imran said yes. Is everybody else super confused or is it just Imran that's awake? Jen's saying, yeah, rock out. She's driving, so that's okay. Good. Now, a couple other things that I like. One other method that I like a lot for this for how you guys could leverage this stuff to make money is, call this three, is using it to respond to cold emails. So we do cold emails. So what we do is we leverage, use the cold email, cold email as the middleman, okay? What that means is have opt-in type messaging for your response, for your response. What that means is, you know, reply back, with a quick yes, if you want to claim this area and speak with a X, that type of a thing. So if you're making a good enough offer, and again, the offer can be the scary offer we worked on up here. I'm helping contractor. We got a system, rented a rolled out a brand new system that's helping people do X, Y, Z. It's exclusive to specific areas. You're getting this email because your area is still open. Reply back with a quick yes. If you're interested in doing that, if you're interested in claiming that area, we can have a representative give you a call, right? That's opt-in messaging. That's creating the middleman so that once they say yes, you can then have the bot follow up with those people and call it, show them the magic and do the same kind of research-based conversation you had up here. The only other ones is going to be ads. Obviously, a lot of you guys aren't ready for ads yet, but that would be as soon as a person opts in, have it call them and try to set the appointment. Same thing as what you do with text. We used a lot of things called an asshole text for a long, long time inside the GSD, which was just to have the text get set out and then the setters take it over. For a while, we used SMS texting to do the same thing. Now you could do voice calling as well. Have them text, have it call. And if it gets a response, book that call, right? These are all ways that you can be leveraging this system to be booking your own call. Personally, I really like the middleman method, creating that training, creating that scary offer, and just basing all of your cold outreach around that so that it can then follow up and help you increase those rates, help you not only by being your setter, your salesperson that you might not have right now, but also by just continuously showing them that magic, by continuously pushing that through. 
Hopefully that makes sense, guys. I'm going to stop the training here. Enjoy the rest of your day. Get shit done. And we will see you on the next one. Thank you so much for spending the time to watch that amazing training. Like I mentioned previously, my intention is for you not just to watch that training, but if you got something out of it, if you think this information is useful, I want you to continue that journey with us. And you can do that in a couple of ways. One, I want you to smash that subscribe button so that you get notified every single time we put another one of these out, which will be at minimum once to twice per week. The other thing I want you to do is go ahead and click that next video right there beside you so that you can dive in and get shit done. Hope to see you out there.